Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So I have two packages here, and let's open them up with the Jack Wolf Knives Little Bro. Jack, this is, yeah, one of my faves. Absolutely love the walk and talk on this. Um, I love the ergos, I love the size, I love a lot about this, and uh, I'm excited about it. Anyway... I have a package from Troy over at Northwoods Leatherworks. I'm just pulling it off because of the addresses. And this is something cool. So, he made me a couple of slips. And let me see uh, what I can do. I have a lot of packages that came in today, which is really cool. But also uh, a lot of stuff. So I believe I also need this out. So let us take a look at what our boy Troy has done. We have two slips. Whoosh. Northwoods Leatherworks Co. Baby. Troy is the man. I believe his books are partially open or something like that at the moment. I don't know how long that'll last. But he asked me what kind of... Um, leather would i like for the little bro jack and i for some reason was like yo let's try that white so this is white um butero leather as far as i understand it's the same leather as this uh, which is nice and tight i really like how firm it is um it takes some effort to get the knife out of there where a lot of times with the pueblo type stuff it is easier to move once it kind of molds a little bit, which is fine. It's not like coming out or anything, but I do like the firm nature of it. So what I did was I asked for it to be white and then have the thread kind of match the copper. So you have that hazelnut thread that matches the uh, copper in there pretty well. Look at that. Oh, that's sick. So he did say it might be tight. He uh, he warned me. Oh, yeah, that's some tight. Yeah, it's tight, and I like them tight. That's what she said, and I'm loving it. So let's see. Already got it dirty, but that's okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see. It's still not all the way in. I'm a little worried it's too tall. All right, there we go. Wow, that is tight, for real. Now I got enough grip there. It's down to the end. Is that normal? How far it goes? I think normally it can go a little deeper. I'm just a little worried it might be too there. Like I can't get it out at that point, but we'll see. I guess I could set it kind of to be a little bit less deep. Like that. just leave it there. Why, why does my OCD have to play here? I like that a little bit sticks out, you know? So, um, there, put it in a little more. That is tight, though. Um, and it is, like, stiff, you know? It doesn't want to form around it as much as I'm used to. Usually, I can, you know, press it down and really kind of rub it in. So, she said again. And, uh, oh, I love it. Ooh. I love it. It'll um, it'll break in, obviously, and it'll soften up. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. Look at those edges, man. He is an absolute beast. Gotta love Troy, man. Thank you, dude. Um, there's the logo. Obviously, it's you know going to be harder to see on white. So we got this one. And then I also asked for a uh, slip for the Monaco. I think this is the one where he said it might be really tight and it might not fit uh we're gonna see so usually i do blade side right blade side facing this way i don't know why i can't oh because of the clip so here's the thing yeah it'd probably be best to leave the clip lefty um uh, because it's gonna be easier for me to flip and then it also sorry my dog um it also is going to not cover his logo with the clip so oh yeah look at that it'll slide right on 
and then the knife slides right in. Would it be better without the uh, clip? I don't know, because the clip might help us get it out. That's what she said. Right? Clip might help us release the knife. Where if I didn't have it clip, I don't know if the knife would sink in too far. Like, I don't even know if I could uh, get it out without the clip because of how deep it is, you know? So it's kind of nice to have the clip on there. But it does you know, make it a little bit thicker, which I don't like, but, um, I might just try it like this and see how that goes, but we could check and see how would it work without. So let's try it. You know, T8 right here. Absolutely loving these Anso drivers from Audacious Concepts. So unfortunately there's not really a good... Damn it. There's not really a good way to do this that looks great. It's the only downside of taking the clip off. Like, I would have to cut a piece of the clip off to make it mount. I wish they had included something, like a filler tab almost. It doesn't look horrible, but it does make it harder to use, that's for sure. But not much. So, let's slide it in. This is how I kind of envisioned it. You know, because, you know, the clip, if you're not using the clip, why do you have a clip, you know? I mean, this stuff really is tight, though. He did say, he's like, you might have to break it in kind of like a baseball glove. Like, you know, I might have to, like, oil this shit and stick it under my mattress. I forget what we did with a baseball glove. We, like, put it in the oven, I think. Like, we oiled the shit out of it, and then we put something, smushed it on top, and then put it in the oven. That was kind of how we did it. I, don't know, I think that was really bad and wrong, but... Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I can grab this corner right here and easily remove it. Yeah, so I don't need the clip. I'll probably just put that in the uh, pouch or whatever. Look at that. Huh? How slick is that right there? So I got my Monaco, and I got my... Uh, Little bro. So this one, I can grip right here. I can get a good grip here. Um, but if I push it any further, it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a little too... Uh, I can't even go further, I don't think. So I can still grab it. So I just needed to break it in, that's all. That's good. It went just as far as anything else would. Um, yeah. This looks sick, dude. The blue. Look at that white pop, though. How sick is that? So, shout out to Troy. Uh, absolutely appreciate it, dude. I love you, man. Um, he's just been an absolutely good friend. Um, he's got a great business. It's it's so much fun, um, you know, promoting his stuff because I truly love his stuff. I mean, if you looked over to the left right now, trust me, there's uh, a sh ton of his slips over there. I just adore his stuff. So, um, yeah. Anyway... Uh, let's move on to the next piece. I'll put these up here so they can chill. I do have him working on one more slip for my Shank Knives Ally. Uh, another non-slip joint. But this one doesn't have a clip. So I think it'd be cool to have a slip from Troy. This one I've been using from Joe is fantastic. So, uh, Lancelot Leather also has absolutely fantastic slips. If you're looking for the kind that kind of covers everything, uh, hit up Joe. I like the one that shows it a little bit. I still need to remember to put this somewhere. Probably be best to put it in the uh, actual uh, package. So, the next one uh, we have is... I guess we'll get this out. Or... Jesus. This one is from Brian over at Transparent Knives. And this is a slip joint, which is why I thought it'd be fitting to open these together. Where are you? There. Oh. Oh. 
So he sent me this to check out, and he said it's okay. Oh, wait. Is it? Okay. It looks like a Shamwari uh, case. Might just be a pouchy head laying around. I love this knife, by the way. Um, from Shank Knives. This is... Yeah. This is the Pena X-Series Apache Slip Joint. He asked me if I'd check this out, and I was like, no, I haven't. And he said it's, you know, really good. He's like, it's not quite Jack Wolf, you know, but it's really good. I mean, you can see the oil in there. Jesus. Uh, I might clean that up for you, buddy. Um, centering is... Looks very 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 close to centered but i think it's ever so slightly over to this side but it's kind of how slip joints go you get really good grip right here good pull oh yeah this is fabulous this is probably the closest thing i've ever felt to it uh jack wolf Yeah, I mean, it's right there. Wow, that's really good. Tip is down there. You got this nice carbon fiber inlay here and here. That's what's unique about this one is here and here. And then this is a K390, which is really cool. I told him, I'm like, dude, I rust that shit in my sleep. Um, and he said he didn't care. So I'm like, all right. Um, it's really sharp. Uh, one thing I don't love about the Apache model is, to me, the blade-to-handle ratio just looks off. Like, I want it to be a longer blade. Um, that's just kind of how it goes with this kind of stuff. I'm not going to mess with this. Uh, it looks like shit, but the walk and talk is phenomenal, so I really don't want to mess with it. Is it loose? Yes. There's some play there. So I wonder if that plays a part. I'm not going to mess with it because it's not my knife. Maybe he'll tell me I can, but it feels good. And it's a slip joint. It doesn't really matter if there's a little bit of play. All right, I'll mess with it. How long did that last? Four seconds. T10 is what I'm guessing. There we go. Well, that, yep, that took care of the centering too. And there goes your action, which is what happens, right? Uh, I had to, I had to dial in the Barley's a little bit too. the prototypes I got. Those are obviously manufactured by, you know, Riot, even though I can't, I don't know that for a fact. Urban EC doesn't tell me, but I believe it's Riot just from their past stuff. There's the action again, a little bit of play again centering is over again so i mean it's not bad in any way on either of those fronts it's just my ocd this is very comfortable in the hand it's the apache man this is a great model um i mean it's got a good spring look at that definitely solid i would give it a six right here and then probably a seven yeah, I'd give that a seven. So maybe six and a half, seven. But this feels more like a six and then a seven out, which is nice. That's how you want it. So that way you have more resistance here, but it's not a pain to open, you know. Um, this is really good. So this is the Apache X-Series model from Pena Knives. And a big shout out to Transparent Knives. Really nice hollow grind as well. Um, yeah, this is probably the closest thing I've handled to a Jack Wolf, um, which makes sense because Pena is kind of like, uh, Ben's, uh, you know, um, role model, or I don't know, what do you call it? Inspiration, or I, I don't know what it, what it is. He's helped Ben a lot, so I could see that he maybe got some tips from Pena, which have helped him, um you know, dial in the Jack Wolves, which those are still better in my opinion, but not by much. This is really good in terms of the walk and talk. Um, now I did have to loosen it a little bit to get it there. Um, let's check the spring out. Got some oil on everything. 
Uh, I might just clean this up. I can't even, I just can't even look at this. I don't know how new this is, but that could play a part here. Yeah, it's so good. Um, the spring is, man, it's just leaking oil. It's flush. Yep, flush there. Flush. Yep, flush there. And flush there. Yeah, they did a great job on that. Man, you got a kick on this, no stop pin, so it has that traditional sound, right? Um, doesn't hit a stop pin and zing a little bit, which is ideal in my opinion. Really dig it. Yeah, this is really, really well made. Big props to uh, Pena Riot for uh, crushing a slip joint. Um, it's good to see, you know. Um, that others are capable. Uh, really nice uh, choil there. It's very similar, in a sense, to what you see. This is the Apache. He doesn't really have an Apache-like knife. So I'll just grab the Midnight, which is the sheep's foot. So you can see, right? You got that nice choil for sharpening. Um, beautiful hollow grinds. You know? But what you get here, in my opinion, obviously the the cam the or carbon fiber is really nice. Um, the fluting is really nice. The full hollow grind uh, with that beautiful belt satin. Honestly, I think it even matches and exceeds Riot's belt satin, which is crazy to say. Look at that. And then you have the full hollow. It's just everything's a little crisper uh, where this is more rounded. And you can just, yeah, you can just feel a quality difference in pretty much everything. But it is not like most slip joints. It's like quality difference is, you know, a five and Jack Wolf's a, a 12, you know, or 10. I'm just saying 12. This is like an eight or a nine and Jack Wolf's a 10. So it's damn close and really well made. I, I'm impressed with this. This is one I would own, and uh, I would enjoy this and feel like it's it's just another slip joint in my collection where most of the time when I get another slip joint, I kind of feel like, eh, it's not a Jack Wolf. You know what I mean? This is its own thing. Very well done. Very well done. I, I know I'm just sitting here comparing it to Jack Wolf, and that's just how my brain works at this point. Um, but it's a compliment, you know. Oh, man, it's really fun to play with. So, let's see if it loosened up a bit again. Yeah, see, it's really loose again. As soon as I... Oh, yeah, look at that. I was basically unscrewing there. As soon as I tighten it down, it's still... I found a good balance there. Let's see. No play. Not as good on the walk and talk, but you're centered. Still really good. All right, I'm going to shut up. So there we go. Uh, thanks to Brian over at Transparent Knives for sending that in for review. I'll do a full video on that. And then thank you to Troy for the absolutely beautiful slips. Um, yeah. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.